Now, a downtown apartment complex is under fire after one of the units went up in flames last week without a proper alarm system in place. That fire has now sparked a whole host of problems. Tenants say they've been dealing with for months, some say even years. Now they're taking legal action against the owners. Judging from the Indigo Riverview Apartments website, this downtown Memphis complex looks like a luxurious place to rent. Like, I love City View, so there was like, that's really what sold me. But you can never judge a book by its cover. The pictures online are not what the inside of this building looks like. It's everything's just painted over. If I would have known, I would have never signed a 14 month lease here. Ashley Rowland lives on the 20th floor. Last Friday, firefighters knew about an electrical fire on the eighth floor before she did. I look over my balcony and all down here where we're standing right now, there's about 12 fire trucks out here. No alarms going off or anything. No smoke detectors are going off. Memphis Fire Department confirmed that someone pulled the alarm, which notified the monitoring company, but the sounding alarm did not alert residents. They didn't notify us about a fire until six and a half hours after it happened. The fire brought other problems to light that Roland and former tenant Courtney Porter say they experienced the entire time they lived there. I've dealt with mold since day one of being in here, black mold. Um, I've tried to get it fixed. So my immune system is already compromised and living in the apartment and inhaling the mold caused me to develop asthma. And I told them this, they act like they didn't care. And they just keep telling me. I was told the other day, I have it on record of the office manager telling me to keep a bleach and water spray bottle in my bathroom and spray the mold. Other tenants emailed us about mold, trash piles in the hallways and hot water not working for two weeks. A group of them are taking legal action against Ascent Residential, the company who took over ownership earlier this year. About 77 of them that have joined together for a class action lawsuit against the building. And they've been going to court and meeting with the managers there and everything. Current tenants have the option to pay a buyout fee to get out of their leases. On the website, the company is advertising free November rent for new tenants. But Roland makes one message loud and clear. Do not rent here. Do not rent here. Now, Memphis Fire also reported that only the building's first four floors have a sprinkler system. They put the building on a fire watch and confirmed just a few hours ago that the alarm system is currently working. Now, I've called, left messages, and emailed the owners. They have not responded.